Hi friends, let's do some math. We are on lesson one, session two. We are on page number nine. So page nine, lesson one, session two. I'm gonna call it one dash two for short, because I'm all about shortcuts. On the top of page nine, you will see some flippers and goggles and it has a bunch of words. So yesterday I mentioned that we are going to circle the numbers. So when you read this with me, think, what numbers are important? What do I need to know? What really matters in this problem? Because they're trying to trick you with a lot of words. All right, I wrote them up here. So it says, a swim team has five girls and three boys. How many children in all. What is important in that? The numbers. So a swim team has five girls and three boys. I'm going to circle the numbers. I'm going to show you guys all the time. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to make a circle with my fingers. And that means to you to circle the numbers. Okay, don't get distracted by all of these words. Five and three. I'm going to circle those numbers. The next sentence I'm going to read because it's telling me what I need to do. What do I do with five and three? How many children in all? If you remember yesterday, I also told you that in all is a clue that I'm going to add. All right, so we are little detectives. We're listening for those keywords. So five and three in all. So now, boys and girls, it is your turn to go ahead and Draw dots, figure this out by counting on. This can look totally different. This is where you do the, um, your own work. So feel free to pause this video and solve it. I'm gonna keep solving it, but try it on your own without just doing what I do. So I'm gonna do five girls. And my girls are going to be these blue dots. Okay. And then I have three boys. So I'm going to do three boys. And those are going to be like that. All right. I'm going to count on. I say count. You say on. Count. All right. I'm not going to count these one at a time because that takes so much time. I'm too impatient. All right. I'm a first grader. I'm all about shortcuts. I know I have five. I don't need to count all of those again. That just takes too much time. So I'm gonna count on five, six, seven, eight. So now I know I'm going to write eight. I can't just write eight. I have to tell you eight what? Eight children. So you're gonna copy this word down. Eight children. Okay, and it kind of ran out of room. But the answer is eight children. So you could have drawn fingers like from yesterday's. You could do a tense frame. You could draw the dots on a dice. You could do stars, whatever works for you. Okay, that is page nine. Feel free to pause it if you need before we go on. All right, if I turn the page, if I have a packet, I'm just gonna flip it on over and there's those flippers at the top. It, it repeats the problem. So we're gonna show a model for this problem. And here it says, model it. I believe if you have a workbook, that's in green. A swim team has five girls and three boys. How many children are on the swim team in all? In all means I'm adding. So here's a model. A model is just a word for a drawing. So they're drawing it with smiley faces. You can see that, all right? Just a simple way of showing you their work. Find five plus three. What part shows girls? What part shows boys? Count on from five to add girls and boys. So we know this is five because they told us five. There's an expression that says, don't reinvent the wheel. If they told you it's five, you don't need to count it again. It's five. So five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals, you're gonna put eight. There are eight children on the team. 
So on this page, you're just looking at the model. Again, a model is a fancy word for a drawing. That's it. Okay. Now on page 11, we're going to, at the top it says connect it. So we're gonna connect what we did on our own independently on the very first page of this lesson. And we're gonna connect it to what they showed us. Okay, and we're gonna put it all together into like a nice pretty package. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna erase this so I can show you what all I have to do for page number 11. So now I'm on page 11 in your workbook and I'm on problem number one and at the top it says connect it and I have my kitty cat and the cute little doggy on the page. It says connect it. That's where we put it all together. So number one says how is your way like model it? How is it different? So you can draw a word or a picture. So mine was dots, and some were filled in and some were not. These, they have lighter happy faces and darker happy faces. Maybe it's a different color, I don't know, because I'm not looking at the book. But mine were dots. So how is it, how is, um, number one says, how is your way like model it? How is it different? So I would say both equal eight. And then I would say I did dots. The book did, and then I'm just gonna draw a smiley face. The book did smiley faces, didn't it? So I'm not gonna, I don't need to do more than that. That tells how it was like and it tells how it was different. Number two on this page. Yes. It says, how is counting on different from counting all? So counting on, I'm starting with the number that I know. So counting all of it is where I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> oh, that's exhausting. It is time for that. So. I'm going to explain why counting on is different. So counting on, it starts, so I'm gonna write counting on starts counting with the first, one of our sight words, first, numbers. Okay, so if you can write all of this down, it's going to help you. Okay, five star writing. I have a capital to start my sentences always, always, always. That goes in any type of writing that I do, whether it's in math or writing. Okay, so the difference between counting on and counting all of them is that counting on starts counting with the first number. Uh, period. Single. Singular, I'm gonna take away that S. It's number, not numbers, with the first number. Okay, like my tally marks. I'm not gonna count seven of these. I'm gonna count five, six, seven. So it's a, you could also say, it is equal to a shortcut. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, please pause here if you would like to write this down, if you need more time, because I'm moving on. So I'm gonna erase this because I have to do number three on page 11 that um, has that cute little kitty and the cute little dog. But always feel free to pause or replay my videos so you can fully understand. So number three says, three cats and two dogs. How many pets in all? So you're gonna circle the numbers, three, and you're gonna circle two, because the first thing you do when you come to a problem is you circle the number, three cats, two dogs. Everybody say, circle the numbers, circle the numbers, circle the numbers, okay? First thing you do when you come to a problem, even 
third graders, fourth graders, high schoolers, college, grad school. Circle the numbers, okay? In all tells me I am adding, okay? Down here I have this, one, two, three, four. Don't mind my drawings. We have one, two, three cats, one, two dogs, okay? So all you're gonna do is fill in the blanks. And oops, let me make this look like the book so it is clear to you. Okay, it has that. And then it says this and then it says then. And then so three. And then there's a blank. And then it says blank. Pets. Okay. So mine looks like the um looks like the book. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna fill in these blanks. Okay. This is asking for this number, one, two, three. I already know it's three. You told me it's three. Don't count it again. Okay? Three, three cats. I start with that first number. So in that first blank comes a three, then four, then five. I'm counting on three, four, five. So now I know that three plus two equals five. There are five pets. So thank you if you already knew this. If you know this and you're like, man, this is so boring and I am just so like, can we go faster? Can we do things harder? This is an important concept for you to understand because this is the stepping stone for your education. So if you think about it as like building a house, if you miss this foundation underneath, you're missing those pieces, you're not gonna be able to build the rest of your house. So please go along and do what I'm doing. There's a reason for it. People are always like, but I don't want to miss camera. I know how or um no, sorry. You have to do this and do it how I'm asking you to do it. So then that way you will be successful in math. Because this ready math that we're doing, it builds. So when you go to second grade and third grade, you're gonna see a lot of this there. All right, now I'm on page number 12, problem number four. All right. Okay, it says draw lines and count on. Number four, five blue hats and one red hat. How many hats in all? First job is to circle the numbers. Say circle the numbers. You're gonna circle those numbers. You're gonna circle, I'm gonna get rid of, rid of this word actually. So I have more room. You're gonna circle, if you were wondering, you're gonna circle five, and you're also gonna circle one, okay? And then it has the same thing here. See you later. Two, three, four, five, six. See you at five. Okay. So now I have all, they look all the same to me. Okay. So then it takes this and they go like this, boop, like that, right? Same kind of thing. So it says that one, um, and that's this one it goes on that line. Okay, I'm a little bit off. So this is how many dots? I don't need to count it because it's right here. Five. Sorry, that's kind of small. I'll erase that. Five. Then. This one I count on is six. So now I know that five plus one equals six. There are six. What are we talking about? Hats. If you notice, the book is always gonna put in the word at the end. It's always gonna say six hats or blank books or blank dogs, or blank kids, because you can't just leave it empty. They need to know exactly what you're talking about. We're talking about hats. Okay, that is problem number four. Problem number, I'm just gonna add on to this. Problem number five is, it says, uh, 
um, six big books and three small books. How many books in all? First job is to circle the numbers. In all means I am adding, all right? So I'm gonna add on, you notice the pattern? I had six here. I'm gonna add three small ones. So here's my six that were to start, all right? And then I have blank, blank, blank. And I think that it says then in the correct. Oh, it doesn't, so you don't really need that then. So I know I'm doing six and three. I have six big books, three small books. How many books in all? So I know this amount that they chunked off is six. I don't have to count it. You can if you want, just really quick to double check, one, two, three, four, five, six. But please just get in the habit of counting on. Start with that first number. It's gonna save you so much time and so, um, you're gonna you just be so much better in your math skills because of that. So six, I'm gonna count on. This one is seven, this one is eight, and this one is nine. So now I know six plus three more is nine. And at the bottom it says nine, oh, so you have to fill in the number. Okay, I don't have the spot that says books, so I wrote it in there because as a mathematician, I know how much it matters to have that in there. All right. Good. The rest, you're just gonna keep going. So you're gonna count on to add. So these green pages, if you have the book, you're doing um, the, this other, you're gonna do pages 13 and 14. So you're gonna count on five plus one equals five, six. Four plus two, four, five, six. Four plus two is six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three is nine. You're gonna fill in these blanks like we did. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, you're just gonna keep going on all those pages. Okay, and then when you get to here, session three, stop. Great work today, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Great job. I'll see you later.